Hey guys, why do you see me here with some more Summoner's Wall action? It is Patch Notes Day, okay? This Patch Notes has just been released an hour ago or so. I've gone through it extensively and I just want to give you the, the highlights of it, okay? Let's start from the top. They made it so Fire Fairy King was the first one because this one's got so much complaints from the community, right? And guess what? They gave him a, <laughs> a cooldown reduction by one turn. He's now less of a piece of shit than he was. I mean, wait. That, that, that's, that's a bit of exaggeration. He's a decent fire nuker. Just not like tier S kind of thing. Not a game changer kind of thing. And and people were hoping for that uh, in, you know, in, the, in the buff or balance patch. But looks like it's not happening today. Now the next one, Dark Fire Fairy King. On initial glance, I thought that it would uh, increase the duration of all debuffs. But no, only weakening effects. So now the passive makes it so that when your Galleon does AoE armor break, it is a 3 turn armor break instead of a 2 turn armor break. If your Varat tries to freeze with the Fire Fairy King on his side, I mean like if you're running Fire Fairy, Fairy King Varat, it will not affect the duration of freeze, only weakening effects. So it's a good change, I think that that is the icing on the cake. I think that the big change here for Fire Fairy, I mean for Dark Fairy King is that he prevents uh, weakening effects on your team by 20%. So that's sort of like a good way to deal with uh, Galleon comps. There is a chance of you, you know, and uh, added to add that to the fact that Dark Fairy King is, I believe, a resistance leader, if I remember correctly. So yeah, it sort of like stops debuffs from happening. And if you're able to land a debuff uh, on your enemy, weakening effect on your enemy, it's gonna be uh, for a longer duration. Next, Fire Wind and Dark Pioneers, Chi Wu, Peng Bei, what's the Dark One's name? Fuck him. <laughs> No Star Wisdom no longer lands as a crushing hit. It will land as a normal hit, but it will not glance. Good and bad. Good as in, uh, well, you know, the crit damage on Peng Bei has some use now. Okay, and this skill actually scales with attack. Yes. Bad news is if you're a Chi Wu, and you don't want to crit that Kami to remove that armor brick, this has a chance to crit. This has a chance to crit. So get ready. For disappointment when that happens okay now Peng Bei gets a change note how i say a change because i don't think this is a buff at all i don't think that, look at this okay attacks the enemy and inflicts half the damage it's like a tail it's like a tail skill now okay in the past it used to attack the enemy and kill it it won't kill if you ruin it so it won't kill and then it does much more damage overall Rather than now, they're doing, they're making it into a Teor-ish, sort of attacks the enemy and inflicts half damage to all the other enemies, okay? And they nerf the default damage amount. So I think that this is not really a buff. Why don't they just change him to an attack type monster? Done deal. I'm sorry, I know this is supposed to be a patch show, but I want to get some of my, you know, rants in there. Some things that I'm not really happy with, okay? I don't have a Peng Bei, just for the record. It's just that, I, I know, if you want to make a change, make a good one, full stop, you know? That's it, you've done it, you don't have to touch it anymore. And now with this, they're gonna do more changes the next time around, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Occult Girl Dark, I don't even remember the name of her, because so, so few people have her, but it's a really nifty buff, really nice one. She's now self-buffing, right? She is now self-buffing. So you don't need, even need a Galen, you can go with the Lu or you can go with Annabelle, you can go Annabelle and Dark Oka. How cool is that? Annabelle and Dark Oka and she self buffs attack before she does the damage. So that's really nice. That's really that's a really nice buff. Uh, congratulations to all uh, the Dark Oka girl owners. I think that's a really sweet buff. Just gonna go over the Rexasas really quick. Everything now sort of scales with speed. Some, 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 you know, uh, attack bar reduction buffs here and there. Some cooldown reduction buffs here and there. Basically, not nothing super major, nothing really game changing on the PvP side. PvE side, it gets better because everything scales with speed. Okay, so it's it's now real. It's now you shoot Rune or uh, a Hua with speed rather than you know. You, previously, you might be thinking, oh, we can go attack with damage attack. It does more than just go with speed now. Yeah, Light Undying uh, gets better. Absolute defense now reduced to seven turn. I believe up uh, on max skill it goes down to uh, five or four. Fortress or something, so it's a lot of invincibility, but not really powerful because it's easily countered by any sort of buff removal. The fact that Light Undying doesn't have double double buff, for example, invincibility plus immunity, like a Chloe, you know, or even Shield or something, 
This makes it so even an Orion can strip them. Even a, a, a Water Fairy King, Wind Fairy, any of the Fairy Kings can just default attack. Chances are they won't strip them. So, I don't think that uh, this is anything game changing. Uh, Death Knight, Fire Arnold, right, gets reverted back to 2015. Yeah, same cooldown extortion. Good for that, good for that. <laughs> that's a good, that's a welcoming buff. He was too strong before, but now the other monsters have caught up, so they had to revert him back to what he was before. This doesn't make him OP, it makes him sort of usable. Let me put it that way. Next one, this one is big. The Fire, Wind and Dark Hell Lady, Shatter, okay? Now gives you 10% attack bar for each crit. Now you attack twice. So that's 20% per target. In an arena setting, uh, I would think it's more of a good war unit, but in the, if you, in the event you want to use it in arena or RTA, okay? So you can armor break, get 80% of attack bar back, and it's pretty much your turn again. Because then your secondary nuke goes, and then you, you know, and then she goes again. So you pretty much can do two moves, yeah? AoE armor break, and then whatever nuke that you want to follow up your third nuke, okay? If it's Rocky, then it's a single target nuke. Athena is also single target, so you get to armor break, get attack bar, and then finish off another target after. Dark Barbarian King. Oh my god, I want one now. 40% chance to get your turn instantly. Okay? You, you can you can get additional turn with 40% chance and you can use Frenzy again. Oh, that is so cool. That is so... I, in Dark Barbarian King owners should rejoice that it's so good for PvP. I mean, so fun for PvP. Let me put it that way, okay? Tessarian gets a damage buff. Maybe damage Tessarian could be legit. I don't know. We'll do some testing after the patch. 30% is pretty substantial. Pretty substantial. I, I believe this is a change to make people use Tessarian more. You don't even need to use him as damage dealer. The fact that he does 30% more uh, if there's harmful effects on the, the target that you're attacking is an added bonus in itself. The fairies get a buff. Fairy queen. Jesus Christ. Fami gets a buff. Farmy gets a buff. It's a li limited edition uh, light magical archer. How many people have that? Really you had to put that buff in here? Is that so important? Screw you, okay? Dark cowgirl, fuck that. Amazons, I think there's one in interesting Amazon buff here. Um, one of them skills with max HP. I believe uh, accurate shot now skills with enemies max HP. So pretty good for dungeons because you were never really bringing an Amazon into PvP. Squishy, squishy stats. Yeah? You probably want to use it in some PvE setting. So, uh, scaling with max HP is a nice idea. But, if you look further down the list, they changed the leader skills to be for guild battles. Fuck that, I'm not bringing an Amazon into guild battle where a stray violent proc from Theomars. You know sometimes Theomars attacks one dude, and then he just violence and switch to the other guy? A stray violent proc is gonna snipe that Amazon. So screw that. We're not. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand why they did this. You know, better of giving him some sort of dungeon buff, and uh, you know, ma make him useful in dungeons. I'm not even gonna go through the rest of the Amazon buffs. I don't care about them. I don't think that they are that in impactful to your game anyway. Next one, Beast Monk, Chandra Rahul. Hug. I mean, defense. Sorry, protects the ally target for three turns. Right now, you get an additional turn. So this could happen. Let me give you a scenario. You're a Chandra owner. Trick of Water. Proc 1 Violent. Do Hug. Reset Violent Counter. Okay. Do Punch. Proc 1 Violent. Trick of Water. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Alright. The fact that getting an additional turn after Hug resets your Violent Counter makes it that uh, you can get a lot more turns. Does this change Chandra's position or Rahul's position? Not a lot. Yes, there will be more damage output. You can even say, oh, let's ruin despair for Chandra. You know, uh, you get an additional turn after all. It's, it could be worth it. But this doesn't really, really change his position as a beast monk because in the end, AoE will, you know, you, you want to hug more than one person, people are just going to cleave and you're going to take double the damage from them. In my opinion, I feel that defense, okay, should have been changed to Chandra heals himself for whatever damage that's absorbed by the by the defense buff. Fair enough. I mean, in the first place, defense buffs defense buff can defend buff. Sorry, can be easily removed very easily. Okay, and uh, he's just really a target after that. You know, he hugs someone, you just you just attack him or you cleave. You know, do double AOE damage and he takes a lot more damage. Next one, point of interest. 
Shukubas. Are you regretting now that you've been using Shukubas to craft those legendary fragments? <laughs> Doesn't wake people from sleep. All your attacks. Doesn't wake people from sleep. Conkos is trying to force the sleep meta upon us. Imagine that running a Hathor and whatever Shukubas, okay? Now, I think what's interesting here, I think uh, screw the water one. Screw the wind one, okay? I think screw, I mean, those are decent, but screw them. I think the fire one's interesting. I think that the fire one, if you uh, if you have you have lack of, lack of options, I think it's a really nice Tiana counter on, uh, say, defense. For example, you can put on defense, and, uh, you know, Tiana's usually come attack you with shield will. The other fire Sukubas can remove the shield will and replace it with stun. Uh, armor break and whatnot. So as long as it can stun, uh, it's pretty good. So I think that's pretty interesting. And of course, the main thing is they don't wake people from sleep. So you can run with Sonnet, Hathor, basically anything that does a lot of sleep. You can still do damage to them while keeping them asleep. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna make one after the patch. I'm gonna. I think I'll make the fire one. All right. I'm gonna make the fire one after the patch. It will be pretty interesting to test out. And that wraps up the patch. There, there are some skill description changes, some AI changes, yada yada. Not super important. I would say overall, a patch is better than no patch. A balanced patch is better than no balanced patch. See, we got something new to do here. We can test out our water beast monks if you have one, you know. Pang Bay owners can be either elated or sad. We don't know how it pans out depending on how much damage is being decreased. Yeah, and um, you know, Fire Fairy King, <laughs> less of a piece of shit. Dark Fairy King owners, the moment when it saw the buff, they're like, yeah, and then after that, they're like, oh, it doesn't work on freeze. But still, it's a buff. It's still a buff, you know, just more interesting things to do. Hell Lady buffs, the Shadow one, yeah. So in conclusion, I think, not a bad patch, yeah. Not a, at least it's a patch, okay. So we're going to stop the video here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.